Once upon a time, on the planet Kerbin, there were three brothers. The three brothers, they had a, a shared love for everything that flies. They had uh, aviation, rocketry. Uh, they, they cast envious glances towards the birds of the airs. Uh, the three Kerbin, the three Kerbin brothers, Bill Kerman, Jebediah Kerman, Bob Kerman, the representatives for all Kerbal kind, they sent to space in order to see what the heck's going on up there. They liked it. Uh, Bill Kerman, Jebediah Kerman, and Bob Kerman, uh, these guys, they did a lot for all of Kerbal kind. They were the first to, to set a vehicle down on the surface of the moon, uh, orbiting over their home planet. Uh, they, they, Return some samples from there for the scientists to study. They advanced uh, the technology of, of the Kerb all Kerbal kind a great deal. Everybody really liked Kermans. But what happened to them after that, after that, the whole adventure of going to the moon and back? They kept flying. They, you remember the, the very first. Oh, hang on, let's fix that camera. <laughs> Uh, you remember the very first airplane that the three Kerman brothers took to air? They have a new and improved version. One Sunday afternoon, they're out on a, just a pleasure cruise, uh, just testing it out, the, uh, the same basic configuration, because they're trying to have the, the smallest possible orbiter for, for a potential space plane to take very small probes. And so they're doing a test flight around the grounds of Kerbal Space Center, and they happen to see something very surprising on the ground that was never there before. What? the heck was that? Bill Kerman, at, at that point, at having spotted the unusual object on Kerbal Space Center, uh, Bill was kind of mellow about it. He was uncertain. Jebediah is thrilled. Bob freaked right the hell out as he knew that something bad was going to happen. So they decided to go back and take a closer look at it. Where the heck did the thing go? Did get too far away? Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, it's too far away. <laughs> Hi! Um, this isn't really the, the start of the series, uh, of the next episode in the series. No, this is more, more of a uh, teaser. Um, yeah, I'm going to be doing the, the next part of... of I'm, I don't consider it a, a, a new Kerbal Space Center series. I'm considering it like the, the next chapter in the ongoing, the ongoing saga of, of Planet Kerbin and, and their, their Kerbinauts. So, our three guys here, we're going to go take a look at what was that black speck where it's always been just a featureless green lawn and previously. Um, yeah, on, on YouTube, my name is The Winter Owl on online, and I usually call go by the handle White Owl. Uh, my real name is Matt. Many of you watched the first series and you liked it. I very much liked your comments. Um, I love this game. This game, Kerbal Space Center, is so incredibly awesome. Here we go. Let's see if we can gentle this thing down. Gentle, gentle, gentle. There we go. Let's get some breaks. Kerbal Space Center, uh, Kerbal Space Program, the game, has been going through some changes. What the heck was that, huh? There are some surprises. There's graphics updates. There's been uh, changes, gameplay updates. Uh, it is not the same game as it was uh, when I did the first series. It is significantly better. Let's go take a look at this thing, huh? Whee! Okay, there you turn that off. Oop, wrong button. There we go. Yeah, I tried to stage instead of hitting the brakes. The heck is that, huh? So at this point, the three Kerbin brothers, uh, as as they 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 landed, they got out of uh, the vehicle and they went over and they they observed this black monolith floating about a meter above the ground. Uh, something happened to them. It it communicated to them. It it shot microwave laser magic communication telepath beams into their heads, and it taught them something surprising. That this something surprising that the black monolith taught Bill Kerman, Jebediah Kerman, and Bob Kerman is going to be some of the focus of the new of the next chapter 
in the Kerbal Space Center saga. So they got back into their airplane. They decided, man, we got to go tell somebody about this. And so they decided that the best way to do that, because it was Jebediah's idea, would be to go and buzz the buildings of Kerbal Space Center. Hmm, close enough, carefully. And he's and Jeb's plan is to roll down the window and yell outside to them exactly uh, exactly what the black monolith taught them. And yeah, he's yelling at him. This uh, little Kerbal engineers guys out on the on the grounds they they said that they couldn't didn't quite catch that Jeb. Would you please come back and repeat it? Uh, Bob thought that this was a bad idea. Jeb's like, hell yeah, I'll do that. Here, we'll go over here. We'll try and talk to these guys at the. Oh, wait a second. Whoa, whoa, wait a second, wait a second. <laughs> I... <laughs> this brings me to the next point. Um, One of the big changes that's happened now in the Kerbal Space Program is... We have more Kerbals than Bill Kerman, Jebediah Kerman, and Bob Kerman. We've got different guys now. Here is where you, the YouTube listeners, come in. The game has a, a, a system to randomly generate uh, uh, new Kerbal crew members and give them new names and give them different, different personalities. I don't want to use that. I don't, I don't want to use the name generator. What I want is for you, all of you, you listening to this, to this to listening to my voice right now, I want you to name my Kerbals. The way to do this, if, if you have a name that you want to see on a, on a Kerbal, whether, whether, whether it's your own username, whether it's some other name, uh, leave a response to this video. Just put it the way this is going to work. Um, if, if you have, if you leave me just one name, say, John, then your Kerbal's name is going to be John Kerman. Maybe you don't want your Kerbal's last name to be Kerman. Personally, I think it'd be, it'd be um, a, 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 one kind of funny joke just to have everybody named Kerman and nobody knows why. But, but if you if you want to have a first and last name, then then I'll, I'll use your first and last name in, in place of Kerman. Uh, but yeah, one name will be Kerman. And whenever in the course of this next chapter of, of, of the story that I'm telling, uh, your, your Kerman will go, get thrown into the random rotation uh, and your, Kerb, your Kerbal will eventually appear on the screen and will fly a mission. I will be playing No Favorites. Uh, if, if you were somebody who subscribed to my channel way back whenever I only had like two videos up and you've, you've uh, had you know you sent me uh, emails and you've posted useful comments and we've had you've been a great guy and, and, and we've just really got along for months um, you will have an equal chance with the other guy who I've never talked to never heard of an equal chance that your Kerbals you could be you may die on the pad and never get off the ground or it could be the hero who will uh, you know f finally f uh, finish the, the the final goal of, of, of the over overarching series <laughs> uh, yeah playing no favorites everybody gets the same uh, I am also I am not going to um, modify any of the Kerbals personalities for it you you know maybe maybe your Kerbal will be so badass that you know he makes Jebediah look milk toast or maybe he'll just constantly piss his pants and he could just can't stop just constant constant pissing in his pants always like you no know, never never ceasing um i don't know i don't know what kind of kerbal you're going to get i'm not going to change him <laughs> but that's it yeah uh, okay so so leave the name for the kerbal that you want in the comments to this video i know a few people don't have uh, a youtube account and so another way of getting your kerbal name to me will be uh, to, to send a, a personal message on the Kerbal Space Program game forums, the, just the main game forum. You know, I'm White Owl there, and you should be able to find me without too much difficulty. So, yeah, anybody's any interest in this game, you, you, you'll, have, you'll have a means of contacting me that way. Um, yeah, and we'll get your Kerbal in there. Um, I reserve the right to not use uh, any... any somebody, somebody tries to use uh, some kind of exceptionally 
a silly name and I and if I just don't like it for some reason I reserve the right not to use your name and I'll just never tell you why so there huh okay but yeah I'm gonna start this up again I was waiting for a while the game is in constant development some of the features that I want are not added in here yet some of the features that I'm not looking for they were added um, all the aviation stuff is is definitely coming over with a big overhaul sometime I don't know is it like in a couple of weeks is it a couple months in a few months I don't know but I, but I've got an idea for a plot a plan a story that I can tell with Kerbal Space Program that I believe will be flexible enough that I be able to work it into however the game changes during the course of this telling the story so I'm looking forward to that I hope you're looking forward to it I'm gonna let's let's do a series it's gonna be fun I want to see I want to see your Kerbal names uh, and you know I'll try honestly I, I don't kill Kerbals for fun. I, you know, occasionally I'm not all that careful with them, but I will, I, I will, I will, I will solemnly swear that I will attempt to keep your Kerbals alive. Mostly. It, yeah, mostly. Okay. Looking forward to starting the series. Looking forward to talking to you some more. Bye.